haul from Sephora. Okay, so I first got these freebies. This is what it comes with. It's if you spend $35 or over. For myself, I'm so excited I got the birthdaybomb.com. I love this packaging. Let's open it. Kind of hard to do it with one hand. Look how cute this is. First squeeze. It's kind of hard to see, but it has sparkles in it. It smells so good. Love it. Next, I got my cousin this rare beauty blush. Shade Happy. I got this for her because it's her birthday coming up. So cute. And that was my haul. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching. Girls, I just got back from Sephora. <laughs> Let me show you what I bought. So basically, it was $1,218. The first thing I got is this Fenty Beauty skin product. I love their brand, but I want to try skincare. Next is these viral scents that I see everywhere. And this one smells so good. Next is this SK2 facial treatment mask. I've been looking for a great mask for a long time, so I'm excited to try this brand. But so far, these Dr. Dart masks are my absolute favorite. I've been using them for years. Then I got this Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. Let me show you how beautiful it is. Like, I'm literally in love. Look at all the colors. Of course, I got the most popular Cosas products. I can't wait to try them. This lip balm looks like a vape, honestly. <laughs> of course, Paula's choice liquid exfoliant. I'll see you guys in the part two of the haul. I'm gonna show you everything I got from Sephora. Apparently a lot of Sephora's are closing down. This one was not, but they were having a lot of sales. Also, I made myself an almond milk latte with brown sugar. I did not get that much stuff. I just kind of went in there for my free birthday present. And for that, I went ahead and got the glow recipe and watermelon. Never tried this stuff. But every time I go in the store, it always looks so aesthetically clean. It comes with two things. So first, watermelon dew drops. And look! Look how freaking cute this is. It's so tiny, but it's adorable. And there's actually a lot of product in there too. Going on a trip soon, so this is gonna be perfect. In the box, you also get toner as well. So that's the matching set. It's supposed to help with glowy, brighter skin. This next product, I was so confused as to why all of it was on sale because I thought it just came out in stores, but it's the Item Beauty. So the brow chow is a mascara and they were all $6 each. This one is the lash primer. I've never used primer on my lashes before. Has it always been blue? I actually do not know how to use this. So if you do, please let me know. Oh, my hair looks a little crazy right now because I'm letting the air dry. To go with the primer, I got the lash now. It was the last. I literally do not understand why this stuff is on sale. Didn't it just like come out last month? I'm questioning whether or not this is actually good. It says it's lengthening mascara. I don't know. I'll try it out. Lastly, I got the brow chow. Got them in two different colors. I think I'm the darker shade. This is the reason I bought it. Why does that look dry? <laughs> okay, a couple more items. I got a bunch of like free samples. These things are so weird. I don't like these. It feels like the bottom of a toothpaste bottle and you gotta like pry it. Then I got the Anastasia contour stick. Lastly, I got these little banana clips. Oh wait, no, they're called duck clips. We are back again with another Sephora haul. So let's get into what damage I did this time at Sephora. This first is this Shani Darden. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Cleansing serum. I was recommended this by multiple Sephora employees. So I'm praying that it is super good. The next item I got is the Dr. Dennis Gross exfoliating pads, but these are the ultra gentle formula because my skin is super, super, super sensitive. So I'm hoping it works. I also got some brush cleaner. I got the one from Beauty Blender and I feel like I almost used half of the bottle trying to wash all of my brushes because I washed them like four times. So I heard this one's better. We'll see if it's better. I'm praying that it's better. We also got the Shawnee Darden Retinol Reform. I have never used a retinol, but the girl at Sephora was telling me it was good, so I was like, why not? Then I also got the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Peppermint. I ran out of my lip sleeping mask, and I was like, this is the time. They're coming out with the Christmas flavors. I think this is a Christmas flavor. I don't know. I'm going to go with it. Then we also got the Tower 28 Mascara. I've heard great things about this brand. I've always wanted to try it out because I get dermatitis on my face and they're good for people who are prone to eczema. So I'm hoping that that is a good mascara. I also got the House Labs Lip Oil in Primary and the Shawnee Darden Intensive Eye Renewal Cream for my under eyes. That is really where I had the biggest reaction last time. So I'm like praying that this one works because my under eyes right now are really itchy. Like if I could just like, I probably would. I got another Shani Darden product. It is her hydrating peptide serum. So we're really praying that this works. I felt it on my hand in the store and I really liked it. And then the last item that I got is the House Labs Foundation Brush because I tried it with my brush and Beauty Blender and I really, really like the formula and it does blend well, but I've heard that this brush was like made just for that formula of foundation. So I was like, I gotta try it out. 
see if it works better because you know might as well i don't know i just decided to do it so that is everything that i got from sephora i hope that y'all enjoy this little haul because i enjoyed showing it to you and i hope that you guys have a great day bye sephora sent me a package this big of products for the annual employee gift and let's open it with me i'm gonna try to show you some things okay it's literally a lot of products and a lot of stuff i don't even know how i'm gonna do this this is gonna have to be really quick and if you want me to do a separate video with a specific products just let me know in the comments oh why body scrub saw the general set in his free hyaluronic acid serum patrick tally plumping gloss kira stars full size hair oil Clean Reserve uh, Sparkling Sugar Perfume, so good. Give to People Cleanser, Shelly Tilbury Spray, um, Paula's Choice Exfoliating. We have a lot of hair stuff, dry shampoo, um, like a lot of things. When I say I'm packed with setting sprays for life, I'm not joking. Also, my skin is never gonna be dry again and the drunk elephant as well more moisturizer every time i find more stuff got some more perfumes more of skincare it's like literally all my favorite brands i received this yesterday and i when i tell you it was the best day of my life just found another perfume Kiara's. A Gucci mascara, like a red beauty one, all my favorites. Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, milk blush, say blush. I'm obsessed. Hair oil, there's also this one. Lip products that who knows me knows I am obsessed with lip products, plumping glosses, everything. And there's also the Tarte one. Wait. Okay, two more lip products. The Tarte one and a makeup by Mario Kit. Lip liner, we have the house labs I'm wearing it right now. Rare Beauty and Makeup Forever. Anastasia Brow Wax. More hair products. This Natasha Denona kit. A beauty blender. You have to protect the skin, so of course they also send me two sunscreens. Bronzer and another blush from Nelia. Eyeshadow palette that is so cute from Kaja. Kaja. Laura Mercier translucent powder. More mascaras and lash serum. And lastly, the Sephora collection cleansing wipes. Okay, I placed all the products out so you could see better. And this is like, this best day of my life. Like, nothing compares to this. I placed a $200 Sephora order, so let's get into it. So I've been spending way too much money at Sephora lately, but it makes me happy. So let's do it. Okay, I actually forget everything that's in here. Is that bad? Oh my gosh. Okay, first glance at box number one. <laughs> okay, first up, we have the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Stick. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I bought this because of the packaging. I mean, blue is my favorite color and... <gasps> Stop. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, do you see this? Do you see that? Like, I'm not too sure how this like works. So open it. Is there a little thing on top? Hold on one sec. Okay, I got it. It's a twist up and it's so pretty guys. And you can like put it on your face and it's supposed to like depuff your eyes in the morning. Um, I honestly just like it for the looks and I'm gonna use it obviously, but I actually love this. It matches my room too. Okay, next up we have the Cap on D Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. So I was so freaking excited to get this. Um, I actually got the sample. One sec. Okay, it looks looks kind of nasty, but I got this in one of my previous Sephora orders, and I used the lightest shade. I think it's light 10. I don't know. I'll check, but I think it is. I love this. I mean, it's, it's like a cream foundation. It's not a liquid foundation but it's also not a powder it's like in the middle um and i love it so i ordered one in the full size okay i don't know how i didn't see that there's the shade it's light zero ten let's open it hold on okay this is so pretty look at it 
Oh my gosh, I'm excited to use it. Okay, I almost missed this, but this is the Sephora brand lip liner in the shade Rosewood. And I think this is such a stunning color. I cannot wait to try this. Okay, now we're on to the freebies. Okay, first up, we have this Sephora perfume sampler kit. Um, because it's almost Valentine's Day, they came out with this crazy kit with like so many samples. And it also has a NARS lip gloss. Sorry, I actually think it's a lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna open it. <gasps> I'm gonna show you all the scents. Okay, first we have Prada Paradox, I think. Oh yeah, black opium, love it. Um, next is Lancome La Via Belle. I have not tried this, so I'm excited to. Ooh, okay. Next is Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. I have not tried this either. Next we have Clean Reserve Aqua Neroli. Okay, no way. I'm so excited. Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. I've been wanting to try this. The classic Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Paco Rabanne Fame. Carolina Herrera Bad Boy. And finally, the long-awaited NARS Lip Balm in the shade Laguna. Go to part two! Sephora! So for Christmas, my aunt gave me a $50 gift card. So yeah, we went to Sephora. This isn't mine, but it's a gift from my cousin. We got her the Sol de Janeiro like little kit. Oh my gosh, I like tried it for the first time. Like the samples, they smell so good. Oh my gosh, so good. But on to my goodies. Okay, I got three things from there. Okay, now I'm debating whether to do like a makeup look right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. First, I got the mini Kosas concealer. I don't have a like a good concealer, so I didn't want to buy like the big one just yet. I wanted like to see if I really like this one, so I got the tiny one. Oh my gosh, I cannot open it. But yeah, hopefully it's good. <gasps> look how cute! Okay, I'm gonna test it out right now. This is the shade 4N. I did watch some TikTok videos like how to apply it because some require a moist sponge, but lots of people have been saying don't use a moist sponge for this one. Okay, on to blending. Okay, that's some good coverage. I like. Next thing, I got the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I would never think that I was going to get this because it's so expensive, but I got the mini version again. <laughs> This is what it looks like. There's like a protective film on it, so I'm gonna take that off. Oh wow. Um, I think I need to watch a video on how to use this. Okay, I got some powder in. I don't have the right brush, but I have this brush, and so this is gonna have to do. And I see people just like rub it on their like things. I don't know. Please do not come at me for like doing something wrong, because I have no idea. But I will learn eventually. My under eyes are definitely not dark anymore. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup that I usually do, and then I'm gonna show you the last thing I got. I'm hoping this is like the trust the process type of deal. Okay, I did the rest of my makeup, and it's looking so good. Like, my eyes are just so much more bright. Er okay, let's do the final thing I got. I got a Sephora eyeshadow palette. Okay, this is the one. It's called the Destinations one, and it has these beautiful colors. For today's look, I think I'm gonna do the blue on my waterline and then I'm gonna put some little liner. I'm gonna be using this thin brush and like put it where my waterline is, like that blue color. Just like that. Here's the final look. It looks like really, it's just like a small added change, but it made my eyes a little more pop. Here's a closer look of what I did. I just did a little bit of liner, but then I put the eyeshadow on my waterline. Have a great day, and if you're watching this on a Friday, have a great weekend. If you're watching this on Saturday, have a great weekend, and overall, just have a great weekend. Bye! Huge Sephora haul. They were looking at me like crazy when I was checking out. Little did they know, that's literally all my money. I went to Sephora on a huge restock day, and I managed to get the items that are so hard to find. I'm gonna start with... The bronzy drops and the thing is you guys have been on this journey with me for such a long time So i'm not gonna keep them. I'm gonna give it to one of you guys I'm gonna pick a random comment under the video that I found them So my last video i'm gonna announce the winner on my story on july 22nd on my tiktok story But I actually did get something from drunk elephant for myself, which is this retinol cream I've been wanting to get this for a long time now, but I just never actually got it because it was quite expensive <gasps> Wait, they have a tester? They have like a little gift in this box. It's this blue hydration serum. But anyway, here's the cream and I love how they work. It's to reboot and smooth your skin. Next, I actually got, I cannot believe I got this. It's the Tower 28 spray. It's been sold out everywhere. The only thing they had was the serum. And now I can finally do my get ready with me's and use this 
Oh, so nice. It's the Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I did get something from Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener, which is really hard to find in stores because it's always sold out. And since this was a huge restock, I managed to get it. This is how it looks like. I love it. Great for dark circles under my eyes, which I do have. I finally got myself a Charlotte Tilbury blush. I have the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and I don't have a blush and I needed this cream blush because the shade is so pretty and everyone's using it in the shade Pillow Talk Peach Pop. Next, I got something from Glow Recipe. It's a really cool thing that's been trending right now. Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. So it's actually a mist. It works like a spray. It smells so good. Then I got this Sage brush. It's a dual ended brush. It was just a must have. Oh, and I got this Laneige lip mask, which is so popular. Everybody's using it. I wanted to get it for so long. The one that's really rare is this pink lemonade one, which they didn't have in stock, but I got this berry one. It smells like berries. I love it. Now, this was expensive, but it's so worth it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Serum Crystal Elixir. I saw this. It just made me want to buy it. Look at this. Look at this. Another thing from Charlotte Tilbury is this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk Intense. Oh, this is a really pretty shade. Makeup by Mario Master Secret Glow. You put this on your eyes and you get this like glow look. Here it is. It's crystal clear. And a thing from Patrick Ta, brow gel, so you can slick them back without worrying. It's also clear just for your brows. And a brush. Here it is. That's it and I'll see you guys. So this is the first order and I wanted to show you what I got. I'm very excited. First, my brother's fiance had this and I was like, I need that. It is like a powder with SPF and you can put it on your scalp or on your face. This is what it looks like. And she had something where you had to, oh yeah, you have to pull out this thing to make it all work. But I'm going to Miami soon. So I thought that this would be perfect except how do you even close it got the translucent one because i thought i didn't need color in my hair you know that'd be weird and this is from super goop next ysl sent me these and i love them so much that i needed to buy more myself if i can open it it is like their what's it called their candy glaze lip balm i know you've seen this before look how good so i got this shade if you can tell gorgeous a little bit darker for fall and then i also got another one because you know they're so good and you need different colors and looks same up did they send me two of the wrong ones they look so similar i'll figure it out later and last but not least i've been dying to try this it is the newest or latest product from merit it is their new solo shadow and their eyeshadow brush. I mean, I don't need a new eyeshadow brush, don't get me wrong, but I love the Merit number one brush more than anything in the world. It's honestly a little smaller than I expected, but love Merit, so I'm sure it's great. And then I got two colors of their solo shadow because I couldn't decide. The pinky color that I liked was sold out on Sephora, so that's unfortunate. And so I got two like tanny beige colors, a lighter one and a darker to see what is more my color and I'll probably return the other. But here's the first, it's mid-century. It's like a darker brown. And this is like a balm that turns into a powder somehow. Not quite sure. And then here's the other. I'm really bad at unboxing, like literally unboxing. This one's the Chata. I can't pronounce anything or open anything, it's okay. And this one's a little bit lighter, which I feel like I'll probably like, but we'll see. And that is it, guys. Stay tuned to see me try everything. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush. I have been so excited to film this haul. So let's do a Sephora haul from the USA. I recently went on a trip to Orlando, Florida. I went to Disney World and I went to the Sephora in Disney Springs and picked up a few bits that they don't stock in the UK. Just a disclaimer, I bought a few things, but I did budget this price into my holiday budget that I've been saving for all year. So I really don't want to see any negative comments because I decided to treat myself and I have been saving up for this all year. Let's get into it because I'm so excited and I couldn't believe that they actually had so much of this in stock. 
can't even. The Goldie Drops. I got the Goldie Drops. They actually had the bronzing drops as well. I have kicked myself since I didn't pick them up. I've seen quite a few different reviews saying the bronzing ones are patchy, but these, I've got them on my skin now. I've used them every day since I bought them. These are incredible. I haven't even touched my foundation since. I'm literally just wearing the Goldie Drops on my skin and nothing else. No concealer, no foundation and they are literally unreal. So if you're looking to get these, I do really highly recommend them. I've been saving everything else for the haul. I couldn't keep my hands off those because I wanted to try them straight away. But the next thing I got was the Makeup by Mario Master Max palette. I'm literally so excited. It was the last one in the shop. I couldn't believe it. And I'm lucky that I checked it wasn't broken as well. But the colors in this, I don't know why they don't stock this in the UK. All the UK girlies are missing out. Look how stunning this is. It's literally the perfect nude palette. If you want me to test or review any of these products, just let me know and I'll make a little separate testing video. So pop it in the comments. I'm doing this like a little lucky dip. So we'll see what we find. Oh, this is a good one. I got the one size cheek clapper. This is the 3D blush trio and I got it in the shade Attention Seeker. Again, they didn't have this in stock until my third trip to Sephora, which was literally on the last day. And I kept going back because I was looking for this and the Patrick Tarr blush kind of duo. And luckily they had this. The first one I picked up was actually smashed and they only had one more. So luckily the lady swapped it for me, but Oh my god, it's literally the most perfect trio of blushes I've ever seen. So you get a cream, you get a powder, and you get a highlighter. I'm so excited to try this. I've honestly wanted to see these in the flesh for so long. The UK Sephora has them, but it doesn't do this shade. All of the viral shades, they don't do at Sephora UK. I don't know why. So I was so pleased to pick this up. Next. Oh, this is a good one. We've got one of the Makeup by Mario. These are the Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veils. So they don't do these in the UK either. We've got the sticks, the little blush sticks. I have one in the shade Pale Petal and I absolutely love it. I'm literally just trying to work out how to open this, sorry. Um, I love the shade Pale Petal. I use it every day. Got it on now. Um, they're so sheer. What I love is that you can really, really, really sheer them out so they don't look not natural if that makes sense um but i got this shade here which is the shade perfect pink actually matt helped me choose this i had two of my hands in the shop and he said that i would see this one more so i can't wait to try this it is literally the perfect pink i get why it's got the name i don't know if you can see but they're slightly textured like it's not a smooth blush like it's not smooth on the top it's textured i think that's so cool next i've got the one size setting powder they do have this in the uk but it's never ever in stock online or in the shops so when i saw it again this was the last one and they didn't have it for all of the other times that i went to sephora i thought i've got to pick it up and i'm so excited to use this because apparently it literally makes your makeup waterproof it doesn't budge it is incredible and it's a little aerosol i'm just so excited to try it i did look for the one size pink powder but they didn't have that at all because obviously that is super popular at the moment so i was really pleased to get my hands on the other two products these are so cool the little touchland hand sanitizers i got one matt got one i mean they had so many flavors i think these are so cool why don't we have these in the uk i feel like americans are more sanitary as well i feel like we need these our country needs a little bit of sanitization if you know what I mean. I got the flavour, the scent, wild watermelon. But essentially, for anyone that hasn't seen these before, they're literal spray hand sanitizers. I think it's such a good idea, making hand sanitizers trendy. I love it. I used Matt's one, and now I definitely wish I'd bought them in every single flavour. Next thing I got was one of the Summer Fridays lip balms. I feel like these are all over the internet, but again, I haven't seen these in the UK before, and I haven't seen them in the UK anywhere. So I got the shade Pink Sugar, and I'm so excited to try it. And finally, the last little thing that I got in my haul was one of the milk lip glosses. Are they lip glosses? Or are they lip oils? Lip oil gloss. A mixture of both. I got the shade Trek and it's like a shimmery, I'll get it out. It's like a shimmery ready pink. It's a little bit, it obviously is sheerer than this, but I thought it'd be quite similar to the one that I like from NYX. So I wanted to give one of these a try because again, I haven't seen these in the UK Sephora. We have a big milk counter, but I haven't seen these new little glosses, gloss oils. So I'm very excited. So that is my haul from Sephora US. And honestly, I was so pleased that I managed to get my hands on so many of the products that I really wanted to try. We're so limited on what we can access in the UK and we don't have as many of the really viral trendy shades. So I was really, really pleased to get them. Let me know if you want any testing videos or if you want to see any swatches or anything, because if you're looking to buy it, I can help you out because I've got the products here and I'm happy to swatch or test any of them for you. But let me know what you want to see next and thanks for watching.
went to Sephora for one thing. Don't ask me who, where, when, how, why we got here, but just sit down and let's unbox this. I spent, you know what? We don't need that kind of negativity in our life. I need Sephora to come on out and say that they are the new target because why is Sephora telling me what I need to buy when I walk into their store? First up, I got the House Labs by Lady Gaga. I got this blush because, excuse me, do you see? Just wait, just wait. Huh? Wait, you have not bought it? Like, I couldn't leave it at the store. I just want to try this on right now. Something's telling me that it's going to eat. Oh my gosh. That's a gorgeous blush. Sephora, stay out of my pockets. And next up, I finally got the Makeup by Mario Concealer. I heard so many people talking about this and I really wanted to try it because I want like that everyday type of makeup concealer look. And I've heard that you don't even have to set this one. I've heard some mixed reviews about it, not gonna lie. I got shade 460 and I wanted this one to be like similar to my skin tone, but like a little bit lighter. That's a shade. Then I got a mini size of the Necessary Body Wash. 90% because of how cute it is. Like bruh be for real this little mini bottle sitting in your shower when you're traveling even though i already had body wash that don't matter then apparently black people can tan i didn't know that okay i only thought that tanned which hey i love that for them but apparently when black people tan you get more bronze so i picked it up and then i got a gift when i checked out with the actual lotion in here so i'm gonna mix this with the lotion and then try to tan and see how bronze i get so follow me if you want to see that <laughs> then y'all oh my gosh i had to i just had to patrick star baby you are doing a doggone thing with these powders and he has the sweet honey one and usually i mix the translucent translucent oh my gosh translucent and the dark deep now i don't have to do that anymore this one's actually like the perfect shade of yellow then oh my gosh i let me tell you what i love i love when companies fight i love it okay i love a good hood jam so as you know also has their sale and they had the Too faced concealers on sale half off why does sephora jump up and say i'm gonna have the same sale that's my kind of competition. So I did get two concealers. I got the shade Chestnut, which is my shade that I already used. And I decided to get a brightening shade, shade Honey. Miss Honey. So it's a little bit lighter. Then y'all, okay, let me tell you something. Fresh Beauty? When I tell you they are taking the coins, why is it so expensive? But I had to buy it. I re-up of my Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Cream. This and the serum, like the toner serum. Oh my gosh. It's so hydrating. I love it for the morning time. Take my coin. I'm not gonna die with it anyway. Then y'all, I needed some new sponges because Benji literally, moment of silence, ate my beauty blender. What about the beauty blender said, ooh, this is appetizing. Don't ask me, ask him because it's in his stomach as we speak. If you think I'm lying, here's proof. And I decided to get peach blossom ones and they're super cute and they're smaller but they're like a little fuzzy. So I feel like these are gonna be good. And they were only $12, so for our collection. Then y'all, okay, I already opened this because I was curious, but I decided to get the K-Skin SPF Spray. SPF 50, like, girl, Winnie, Winnie. Oh, I'm gonna be on somebody's boat, baby, okay? And we love a good black on buy. Then, in case you thought it couldn't get worse, let me tell you how it can. I have to re-up on my Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Powder. This one is so good for deeper skin tones to set the bright under eye. Stunning, I know. I already own this product, and in case you're wondering, well, if you already own it, why'd you buy it again? It was not by want. It was by force. Do you see this? I can no longer, oh, it has to go. Second to last item is my Sephora Gel Lip Liner in the shade Molasses. This is gorgeous for darker skin tone. The perfect brown lip liner and she's affordable. Lastly, I got my gift and this was the, the Glow Recipe toner and dew drops. And yeah, that's my entire haul. Like, and let me just go ahead and tell y'all the price I spent because I honestly hate when influencers don't do that. So I'm not gonna be that. I spent th <clears throat> 300, $343. And I'll do it again. <laughs> Bows of party.